Hi, this is Katie. You can call me Katie. This is Call Me Katie. And today, that lipstick, what is that? Wait, it's your natural color? In all seriousness, this is not Call Me Katie. This is just my name, Katie Sauter. That's my channel. But we are having a little fun with some Call Me Chris content. In January 2024 this year, Call Me Chris uploaded a video where she tried on a few different Amazon wedding dresses. I have linked them all below, at least all the ones that I could find. She had a sixth one that I could not find. I did link them all below in case you wanted to buy any of them. I've just made it easy for you. Definitely recommend checking out her video because it is really fun. She judged them based on a few factors, uh, on a scale of zero to five, zero being terrible and five being this is awesome this is the best the factors were one fit two material three danceability walkability and four overall rating just how she feels about it let's jump in all right so this is dress one um i am now i have really big hips and i'm just like an hourglass figure as a whole i don't like how it's moving me here i don't like see through you can actually see like the cups the cups are also really small i feel like i'm really like i'm getting a lot of under boob right now um and then like i feel like you can see my underwear maybe it's not obvious in this video but it is when you look in the mirror i do like um this part i didn't really it's like a flap <laughs> the material feels nice but it needs more i would probably give this like a one out of five only because I really don't like that it's see-through. I feel embarrassed. And then uh, for fit, this is this looks really good on Chris, um, but I don't think this looks very good on me. I'm not even in the clip size. Like I definitely ordered the recommended size. Um, it's a size 14, which is what I normally eat on because I'm not I'm not skinny many. I gotta admit. But it looked really good on Chris, so I don't know. In this lighting, I can see. I can actually see the the cut through. So I'm gonna definitely like that's really knocking it down for me especially in overall looks. So I'm probably gonna knock that one down. But yeah, I do think for dangability and walkability, this is actually a spring You know, it has a nice string actually. It's pretty long. You would need to get a bustle for it. And I like the the romantic bumps. So it's, it's pretty good. So the cost to me was $87.51, which is a little different from what Chris paid because she was in Canada at the time. Now she's in Texas, but and that included the tax and shipping. So probably Chris, uh, she wrote three and a half out of five for the fit. Uh, for two out of five for the material. Yeah. I mean, I just don't like that it's sheer. <laughs> Danceability and walkability, she wrote four out of five. I would give this one a five out of five. It's just like I could get down in this, you know? Um, though actually, now that I've started doing this, this is starting to slip. So yeah, that's knocked it down. It's now a four out of five. Uh, overall looks, I'm going to give this one. I'm, I think I'm harsher than Chris. I, I'm giving this one a one out of five. I really hate it. Oh, here's a review though. Maybe it doesn't work for me, but it might work for you. First dress review, one star, cheap, very cheap material. Looks like a tablecloth sewn together. Returns are extremely difficult. Uh oh, I need to return this. Um, okay, well anyway, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it looks like a tablecloth sewn together, but anyway, another person stars. Beautiful dress for the price point. And it's unfortunate that the dress didn't fit well, but it was a, still a great dress. Now you could always get a cheap dress and then tailor it. Like it's actually not too expensive to see a seamstress. I mean, it, it still costs something. So if you're like, I don't even have $300 to spend on a seamstress, then you're not, then then try to find something that fits right off. The list. All right, now we're gonna go into dress two. This is the Light Page Women's Ball Gown Bridal Wedding Dress Size 14. Uh, so for me, this cost $88.59. So not like the cheapest, but it's still pretty cheap. And actually like, it's really beautiful. I um, I didn't lace up the entire back because I'm lazy and I just don't have time for that. But I think like if I actually were to have someone help me into this dress, um, I think actually like as far as danceability goes, like as long as it was tight enough, um, which like your your mom or maid of honor would help you do this. It does it does like hurt here, and that was one of the things I was worried about uh, when I saw Chris in this. So as far as 
fit. I actually think this fits pretty well. I don't think it's the most flattering look for me. If you have a good seamstress, a strapless dress is never a problem. I don't like strapless dresses generally because you have to keep pulling them up and stuff, but your seamstress should be able to strap you in that. So I do like the ball gown. Um, it's very pretty. There's no train, just an FYI. You know, all the beading is really pretty. It did come with some flaws in the front, so it's got like some fluffiness. When you get married, it's really important that you're comfortable the whole day. I've seen it, the brides are like bleeding under their arms by the end of the day. I still don't think that this is quite as flattering and it is kind of puckering up in like the front here. But I think like overall, this is really pretty good. Uh, it's like a walkway, like I would need a seamstress to help me like shorten the hem a little bit. All, I would give this probably, you know, maybe a three out of five. What a Chris right? I'm rolling over here. She put a four out of five for fit. That's I think what I gave it. She put a two out of five for material. Yeah, I don't know. I have a different opinion. <laughs> Danceability, walkability, she put a two out of five because it's strapless. But if you have a good seamstress and if you get really like, if you get someone to help you tighten up the back, like it should be, you should be able to walk and dance just fine. Um, I would actually give this a four out of five because uh, you still can't raise your arms all the way up. At least I wouldn't try it. <laughs> Overall looks rating, she gave it a three out of five. Um, I gave it a four out of five. I I actually feel pretty generous about this, this dress ball gown. Did you know it costs like $200 to buy a veil? Like, uh, like a, not like this thing. This is my bachelorette thing. Like, um, <laughs> but it costs like $200 for a veil of like any size, the cathedral length, the fingertip length, or the, like the, the shorter one, um, blanking on the name right now. It'll come to me. All right. Let's move on to the third dress. Jane's plug time. I have a free, that's right free 12 month wedding planning timeline and linked in the description below. And it comes also with a bunch of tips on every page to help you with your whole thing. And I had one person mention that it helped her see a path forward for her to actually plan her wedding, even though she had a baby and her husband's from the UK and she's from St. Kitts and it made it less overwhelming for her. So it's actually helping people. Yay. <laughs> but I also have a free wedding party mini guide that would just come with it. And uh, that can help you and whether you are a bridesmaid, a groomsman, or a um, maid of honor, best man, if you are the couple, it helps you too. Shameless plug time over. Okay, so now we're here with the third dress. And uh, this is the dress tells for uh, bride, mother of the bride, bridesmaid, whatever. It went on and on. Obviously, I could not find it in white. I actually checked it this morning and you can get it in white now. So I don't know. I, um, but if you're interested in this one, link in the description below. It does feel very conservative. This is not for me. Uh, I totally agree. Yeah, this is actually very comfortable. I like the blush, I do. I, um, that's kind of nice. It's definitely a chiffon fabric. Um, and it's very, very comfortable. I feel like it does show like my, like my belly a little bit. And uh, like you can see like the underwear lines on my butt. Um, so the material is not like the best. Actually, like this fits me perfectly um, for what it is. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely more mother of the bride than bride, especially since I couldn't get the white. As for fit, for me, I think this actually fits me really well. It's just that I don't really like it. Oh, it looks on me. So, but yeah, that's all. Uh, I do kind of like the swoopiness. I would give the fit like, you know, maybe like a four out of five. Cause like, just because I don't like how it's hitting me, but it's less to do with how it fits. No, it's more to do with how it fits and less to do about the actual size of the dress. The size is fine. Uh, true to size, size 14 looks fine. As for the material, I, I would also like, so Chris rated this a one and a half out of five. And I um, would also probably rate it that just because you can see things that you don't want 
people to be seeing. It's like, it's fine. Okay, things are feeling silly. Chris gave this the fit a one and a half out of five. Uh, she gave the material one and a half out of five. She gave the danceability and walkability a five out of five. And overall looks rating two and a half out of five. I completely agree with Chris on this one. One of the ratings was uh, from someone named Blessed. I tried this dress on, it was a tad too short for me. You can see my Crocs in the picture. The quality was decent and it was comfortable. This dress just didn't look good on me. Yeah, I think she looks fine. She puts a picture. I think she looks pretty good. She probably doesn't feel confident in it and that's, you know, takes their own. All right, time for the fourth dress. I, um, when I was trying on wedding dresses for myself, I uh, avoided dresses that looked like this. This looks really good on a lot of people, but they're usually skinnier than me. So I, um, it's a pain to get into and the, the cups are not hitting me right. And I'm like a busty gal. Like I got, I got my hips, I got my, I've got curves. I, I think that this is definitely better for people who really love the mermaid look. I kind of feel like I'm floundering around. I don't know if you notice how I'm moving right now. But I'm like, what? What do I do with my legs? I keep stepping on it and I don't I don't know what to do with myself. But um, you know, objective for looking at this, uh, I think that um the fit is terrible on me. <laughs> as far as fit goes, yeah, okay, like I don't think I got the right size. I did get the right size, but it just makes me look broad. It makes me look wide. I feel like a lot of the other dresses did too. I feel like I really need like an A-line. <laughs> For me something that comes from from here down and not tightens up against me like i feel like this looks best on usually thinner women than me but it's also like fluttering and like being weird yeah and as far as material goes like the lace is really nice it's really soft like you would be really comfortable in this i love the train if i could just get it like, i'm strong i'm strong like, the train is really nice, actually. It's really uh, subtle. But yeah, you would need to get this hemmed. Like, I'm 5'7", and this is a size 14, and I'm like 190 pounds, and uh, this is not this is not it for me. But um, yeah, the material itself is really soft. It's really comfortable. Um, it's hiding, you know, the underwear, the cups. It's hiding, like, things. Um, that's good. Dance You know, actually, this one I can raise my arms way better and not feel too self-conscious. I mean, danceability, like, this is pretty decent, I think. But walkability, I was struggling. I was struggling to put it on. I was struggling to walk in it. I am not that big on this one. Overall looks, I'm gonna give this one a one out of five. I really hate how it looks on me. I really hate how it looks on me. It's a really pretty lace. I really love the lace. And the, the hem is nice. It's got like a... All right, so let's see what Call Me Chris wrote. So she had put a five out of five for fit it did look really good on her i actually think like she could put like one of those bridal belts on and it would look like perfect um on her she gave it a four out of five for material i'm i definitely agree i think like for me i i think i'm just so unhappy in this dress and then <laughs> for danceability and walkability she gave it a three out of five um I forget what I put, um, but I definitely feel this is more of a, a two out of five. Like, yeah, you can dra dance in this. And maybe if, like if you were really truly like strapped in and you had your seamstress help you and everything, like maybe it would be fine for dancing. But for walking, I was struggling and you would still need to get this hemmed. The overall looks and rating, she's, even though she rated everything else really highly, she did give this a two and a half out of five. I don't think um, this was quite, this wasn't it for her. Um, what did someone else write? Someone else wrote, beauty dress. I love this dress, fit well, quality material, and held up all day in the mountains. I lucked out and didn't need any alterations except a bustle for the train. 10 out of 10, recommend to anyone. She looks beautiful. I love the black wedding dress trend. What do you guys think? I think the black wedding dresses are super cool. I found some when I was trying on my own like wedding dress, but I actually, I'm, I'm like not that big into white dresses. I really don't usually like how white looks on me. So I was a bit surprised that I ended up choosing a white dress. It's not here. It's still at the seamstress. So like I am not showing you guys my wedding dress today, but I will like later this summer. Okay, we'll move on to the final dress and this is the one that I'm looking the most forward to because this was the crazy one. So this, this is the Zabochi cam camo dress and I don't know if you could tell, but um, I uh, didn't lace it all the way. 
because I'm tired of lacing up myself. Um, <laughs> I'm really exhausting. It's exhausting. I'm not even doing it very well. Um, but even though I'm not doing it very well, I still have a bit have it so it's hugging me. I actually feel pretty well supported in this dress. Um, unlike Chris, I decided to go for the one with straps. And I kind of love how it's doing this crisscross thing. Um, that's pretty neat. So I I really actually like how it's cutting me. And the, the back is really actually, the back is actually really nice. What does this remind me of? It reminds me of a tablecloth um, mixed with camping, like a tent material. Uh, I think Chris was right with that. It, like the white feels like a tablecloth. The uh, camo feels like a tent. As far, so material wise, not the best material. I like the beading and the lace. This is really pretty. I really do like how this is hitting me. I think for fit, I think this is the best fitting one that I have tried on. I think it's the most flattering on me. I mean, maybe on camera later, I'll be like, oh God, what was I talking about? But right now, I'm like, <laughs> right now, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. But, um, so for fit, I would give this a five out of five. Oh, we've got this little thing. For material, I would give this one a uh, two out of five, because I mean, honestly, like this wouldn't be bad for like a winter wedding. It's um very warm. I am. I feel like I'm sweating. This might be more difficult for like a summer wedding. It's super super thick. If you ever, by the way, tip. Um, if you want to make sure you're going to fit in something, always order a size up from what you think you are, um, because your seamstress can tailor you into anything. They, they can usually go three sizes down. It's the rule for wedding dresses. But yeah, I actually like this. I still can't believe I actually like this. This was the most expensive one. This one, see what it cost. So this dress, this dress cost me $161.81. So that includes the tax and shipping. Um, one of the things that I was impressed by when I was ordering this dress was that they were like, we can custom size it for you. So take all your measurements and then um, we, you can send it back. I didn't do that because I want to return it. Um, I already have a wedding dress. Plus this just isn't my vibe. It might be someone else's. But yeah, I was like, I want to be able to return it. Uh, can I return it if I get it custom size? And they were like, no. So just be aware of that. But anyway, uh, as far as, oh, dan danceability and walkability. I think, I mean like, this is pretty danceable. I actually really like, this is really quite lovely. I think this is very danceable. I think this is the most danceable one. Like as a busty woman, I actually feel pretty supported in this one. You would want to get a bustle for this to, to hype this up for your actual reception. So as long as you get a bustle, it will be fine. Anyway, well, I would actually give this overall rating of like, I mean like maybe a three out of five because the material is a little cheap, but like for the price and with this pump on me, I think it looks excellent. This is not my style at all. Like at least the, the the fit is my style, but the the actual camo where <laughs> it's catchy to zoom in on this. So can you see that material? It's not. It's it's definitely tent material. Okay, one of the things that was a riot though when I was looking over this were some of the reviews that I found. I tried to find the one that Chris had where there was a woman with a rifle in her lap and I was like, that is perfect. That is the perfect one. I could not find it. I think that woman took down her review. But anyway, all of these women do look really beautiful in this dress. So we have this one woman who um, uh, she posed with a, a pig. Um, when her husband has a matching vest, I did notice they were like, if you liked this, you might like this. And it's like a matching vest for the groom, um, which is kind of cute. It's so like, the pig, pig is just like, oh my God, that is, that is, that is exactly what I pictured. Other than the rifle woman. One customer wrote, it's very beautiful. I loved my wedding dress. I feel like she wrote this in a southern accent. I'm gonna say it in a southern accent. I loved my wedding dress. Was a little big, but that was my fault. I didn't really know what size to get, but good thing is that I could tie it up. I really hope everyone else enjoys it. That was the worst southern accent I think I've ever done. If you enjoyed this video, maybe you'll like one of my recent videos. Check it out, here. I do everything from wedding drama, wholesome hour, to how to's and silly times, and I just have a good time with it. And if you want to join what I'm going to start calling the otter family because my last name is Sauter and otters are like cute and everyone loves otters so if you want to join the otter family then uh, that 
sweet little subscribe and you know give that button that little like button a cute little and uh put a ring on it you know become part of the otter family and swim with us all right it's so weirdly flirty at the end of it <laughs> just a cheeky little wink all right <laughs> keep the peachy for me okay